Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be melting down a bunch of pull tabs and turning it into molten aluminum. I'm going to be using a Viver 12 kg propane furnace. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description, one for the 6 kg and the 12 kg furnace. When I started melting metal, I didn't want to go big, so I did get the 6 kg, but I have now advanced to the 12 kg because I think having that extra room is necessary for melting metal, especially if you want to melt cans or a bunch of pool tops because you could really hold a lot of aluminum inside this crucible. And I wanted to show this clip of me removing the slag that was left over from my previous melt because a lot of people ask that in the comments, how do I remove the slag? I basically just wait till the next time I cast and just easily remove it. So you can see here, I have a bunch of pool tabs and it looks like it's almost the same size as the crucible. But after filling the crucible to the top, I still have plenty more to go. So it's time to go outside and load the crucible into the furnace and start melting down these aluminum pool tabs. So after some time, the pool tabs melted, I turned off the fuel and I'm going to start adding more pool tabs to the crucible. And I think the best way to do that is by filling a soup can with pool tabs and using grilling tongs to pour it into the crucible. Now I am down to the last two cans of pool tabs. So I'm going to put those into the crucible, fire it up, and wait until these are molten. It's a good idea to Preheat your lifting and pouring tongs before handling your crucible, as well as preheating the graphite mold before pouring molten metal into it. With the pull tabs all melted down, it's now time to scrape the dross or the slag on the top and try to move it to one side of the crucible so I can easily scoop it out and discard it into a pan. To be quite honest, I was pretty surprised at how much slag came from these pull tabs. I really thought these were pretty pure aluminum.
sometimes removing these ingots from the graphite mold can be a real pain in the butt. I still have some more molten metal inside the crucible, so it's time to pour my next ingot. Now I didn't film it, but there's still some more in the bottom of the crucible. I just scraped away the dross and poured whatever little was left at the very bottom of the crucible without the dross in it. Because the dross was kind of holding it back from being poured out into the mold. That one came out a lot easier than the first one. Alright guys, back in the garage and here is the container that held all those pull tabs and all I got out of that were two ingots and a piece of slag. 2.58 pounds of good aluminum and I got this piece of slag that weighs 1.03 pounds of garbage. And I actually really think this pretty cool how this one came out pouring the aluminum on top of the aluminum. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd appreciate it.